So when we get tempted to the bait, we actually moving towards the rapture. And once we caught in the rapture, there is no way to come out. Like same in our life, we, uh, there are many of the things uh, which we are blindly following, and we are uh, got uh, we are caught in the rapture. So let's move to the text to know how the peddler tempted towards the bait and found himself caught in the rapture. Thank you. Jainaraya students, so today. We will go through with the second part of the chapter, the rat trap. Rat trap means the instrument we use to trap the rat. Now, here are the characters of the chapter. The main character is rat trap, the peddler, and crofter. Edla Wilmanson and the Iron Master. Now, the rat trap seller. The rat trap seller was a poverty stricken person who is suffering with the poverty stricken life. He is in a rag clothes, very sunken cheeks. And hunger gleamed in his eyes every time he looks hungry. And by seeing his physical appearance, you, you uh, easily guess ki that person is hungry, that person is feeling hungry. And for uh, his survival and for his work as he was making rat trap, so for making rat trap and uh, the material he need sometime he was not able to arrange the material for the rat trap making of the rat trap so for uh, making of rat trap and for his own livelihood sometime he is do uh, begging and uh, sometime he uh, he also involve in uh, petty thievery chote moti chori bhi kar leta tha and most of the time he was busy in making and selling rat traps. Rat trap seller was ju uh, just like a tramp, vagabond, stranger, peddler. These words are used in the story to describe the rat trap seller. One day when rat trap seller, when the peddler was selling the rat trap, one thought arises in his mind by seeing the rat trap and that thought entertained him. He was just entertaining himself with that thought and the thought is the whole world is a big rat trap with lands and seas, cities and villages. The thought which uh, uh, arise in his mind is that ki by selling the rat trap the peddler realizes that actually the whole world is a kind of rat trap and we people are like a rat and the things which are available in this world in this materialistic world wo, uh, kuch bhi ho sakta hai. Any kind of thing that attract us, that tempt us, all are the baits. Wo baits kuch bhi ho sakte hain, just like riches, if you are blindly following riches or uh, you want joy or happiness in your life, uh, you want a good house, shelter, food, heat, uh, clothing, anything, anything in this world which is available or which we are tempted towards, that are the bait. For us as we are the rat who are following these things blindly and once we uh, go to the rat trap to uh, by the tempting these things rat trap is the world we people are rat 
on the things available in this world, in this materialistic world that are played as a role of bait. So whenever we are tempted towards our feeling, our thought, emotions, anything which we want in our life, anything uh, which we are very passionate to get that. So when we uh, tempted towards at that moment actually what we are tempted towards a rat trap and once we uh, try to catch that bait at the same time we trap in the rat trap and then there is no way to come back now that all we read about the rat trap seller the peddler here is the croft a crofter was somebody who rented a small farm with a plot of land and living in a house on it. Crofter means a farmer who was farming on a rented small farm. Ek choti si jage pe farming karta hai. And he was a land and living in a house on it. A tenant farmer who paid his tenancy with manpower instead of cash now lonely without wife or children welcome rat trap seller shared supper of porridge shared tobacco played moj played mojolis so one day when peddler was selling uh, his rat trap uh, he was got very tired and then he saw a cottage and at that cottage he knocked and when the room opened there was a crofter and that crofter was all alone he was uh, living a solitude life no one is in his life uh, neither wife nor children and that crofter was very happy to see rat trap seller to see the peddler as he was alone in the house so he uh, very warmly welcomed the peddler as for the night he has a company so uh, it was a night time so uh, when he get his guest when he welcomed his guest to his get he shared his supper of porridge which he made for himself and then the tobacco and uh, both of them played uh, played majolis cards the crofter was very generous and confidence too supported by his cow last month he got 30 kroner from creamery showed his guest where he kept the money and so while uh, playing uh, majolis while playing the card while uh, conversing to the cro um, peddler to peddler he shared his life history what he is doing how what work he is doing how he earns his livelihood how much uh, money he has and where that money he kept all these things very uh, openly he just say to the peddler as he said that ki i have a cow and with that cow is only source of earning and last month I earned 30 kroner from the, from the cre creamery. And then he also showed the guest, he also showed the peddler where I kept the money. And peddler was a poor, he was very poor even to, uh, to manage two time food for himself. So by seeing the amount where the crofter kept that amount, that money, uh, a temptation arises in his mind towards the money, to steal that money. So in the next morning when both of them uh, get out from the house, crofter went for his daily routine work for the milk, for the milk to cow and uh, then peddler to go for his selling, to go to sell his rat traps. Uh, before leaving the house, there was a temptation arises in his mind towards that amount, towards that money, which was kept in the window, in, in the window pane. So, 
from uh, by moving from the house at the back side of the house peddler from the window he just taken out the money from the pouch that 30 kroner and he stole that money and after stealing the money one thought arises in his mind ki if i took the way of a, uh, the um, crowded way which goes to the city may be the crofter follow me or may anyone else guess ki i have uh, stolen him so maybe i was caught down but so he has decided to take a way from the forest so no one can guess me where i was so he has taken the forest way and listen children this is the bait that 30 kroner rupees is the bait for the peddler and peddler has done the mistake he tempted towards the bait he has catch that bait and finally he was trapped in the rat trap he was trapped in the rat trap when he decided to move from the jungle to move from the forest way lost in big and confusing forest strangely paths twisted and forth had been walking around the same path the whole forest like impenetrable prison and then what happened next that large and confusing forest that forest was very large and the way the route is not clear to the peddler so peddler found himself lost in that forest and he was just taking a round and round of the forest and again he reached to the same place from where he started and finally he was very tired and he found himself just like he was caught in the impenetrable prison impenetrable prison means the prison from where uh, he was not able to come out fooled and caught by the bait increased gloom and despair and finally he realized ki he was always thinking ki this world is a rat trap and the things present in the world all are bait and now the that money that amount which i have stolen from the crofter that was the bait and i think i finally trap in the rat trap so there was a gloom and despair there was a sadness and disappointment in a uh, peddler's life and in that forest at a distance at a far distance when the peddler was so the peddler while chasing the sound of a hammer he reached towards a large plant that plant is of iron ore that belongs to the ramjo's iron mill in that plant in that iron plant uh, iron rods are smelting uh, rolling down and uh, forge is using so here is a process that will uh, doing in that plant that iron ore uh, as iron ore is used in that plant so the work is uh, done like uh, smelting smelting is a process of applying heat to ore ore means the raw material for the iron for the iron to make the iron rods in order to extract a base metal rolling is a process in which metal is passed through one or more pairs of rolls to reduce the thickness and to make the thickness uniform the concept is similar to the rolling of dough so rolling is a process ki when the iron ore is melted for the base metal then it's go through with the process of rolling so that uh, uh, it becomes in a uniform uh, thickness and then after that rolling it uh, goes through the process of forging forging is a manufacturing process involving the shaping of metal the blows are delivered with hammer so forging is the last process of making the iron rods that is the manufacturing process in which uh, they are giving the shape to metal 
so these are the works which was uh, continuing doing in that iron mill now at that night when peddler reached to the iron mill they uh, where the work of iron ore manufacturing smelting rolling forging this is going on the peddler went to the fire to uh, to get warmness as that was the winter time the uh, cold weather is there so at that night iron master arrives at the mill actually the iron master every day arrives at a, at the mill to take its uh, night round to check the work process of its mill so he came and saw that ki there was a tramp there was a person and that person he misunderstood as one of his friend regimental comrade nils olu he misunderstood he misunderstood uh, that peddler that tramp as one of his friend and now he invited him to his manor house and he gave the offer to that peddler as he misunderstood that peddler as his own friend so he invited him to his manor house to his house to celebrate christmas but the vagabond refused thinking that it would be like voluntarily throwing himself into the loins den worried about the 30 kroner by getting the chance to move in a good house to stay in a good house the vagabond the peddler refused it that he refused the offer of the iron master because uh, he was thinking that ki as he has stolen 30 kroner from the crofter he is a thief and the iron master is a wealthy person so if i accept the invitation of iron master in the way i myself volunteer to throw myself in a loins den because iron master was a wealthy person he is a rich man and this time he misunderstood uh, he uh, not identified my virtual identity Uh, my uh, exact my actual uh, identity but when he knew ki i am not his friend so that time and if my this uh, uh, it also discovered ki i was a thief i have stolen uh, 30 kroner from the crofter of his mill so maybe i was uh, thrown into prison by this person so if i accepted his uh, invitation so it might be the same way ki i myself throw myself in a loins den now when he rejected the invitation of iron master iron master went to his house and she said to his daughter edla wellmanson that he met one of his friend in the uh, mill but he rejected my invitation so i request you to go to that mill and take that person to our house as he was very poor in condition so at least we have to give him a chance to celebrate the christmas eve and by that we also uh, we can also give him a kind of help 